everyone. Happy couple days after Christmas. I have missed you guys so much. I promised myself that I was going to take a little bit of a YouTube social media break to truly be present for my family for Christmas. Be present, see what I did there? And it was magical, but it's time to get back to business and back on the horse. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what my day-to-day -day looked like around Christmas, kind of what I ate and what I'm planning to do to get back on plan. But the main reason that I wanted to upload today is to let you guys know, I am doing a very, very special sale on the Fat Kid Keto eBook. It is 50% off right now. That means it's only five bucks. So all of you that told me that it was expensive and you couldn't afford it, but you really wanted it, now is your time. It will be 50% off until midnight tonight, I believe. So please go and grab your copy. It is the easiest way that I know how to help you get back on track. All of my most beloved recipes, you're going to love it. It is worth every red cent. So go get your copy for five bucks. I'll leave the link down below. Do that. The main reason that I did that is because this time of year, this happened last year too, my inbox is flooded with questions about gearing up to start keto for the first time or gearing up to get back on track. I know those feels. <laughs> I'm definitely gearing up to get back on track myself. We went off plan for a few days. Spoiler alert, I feel like crap. My stomach hurts. I'm super tired. My skin condition is having a bit of a flare. I'm kind of a hot mess. So why do you do that, Amanda? Because <laughs> I don't have a good answer for you. I knew that this was going to happen. It's just what I do. I do all of these elaborate baked good baskets that I give out to friends and family. And it's just really, for me, I don't like feeling like I'm not participating in the treats. If you stayed keto, I applaud you. I've done that before for holidays. It always feels really good, but I didn't this year and I'm okay with that. The scale is up a whopping 10 pounds. I know a lot of that is water weight and it's gonna come right off as soon as I get back on track, which will be tomorrow tomorrow's the day. <laughs> Dan and I both are like, man, it tastes good, but holy crap, I forgot how sluggish I feel. So that's what's going on. I am tidying up the house today. I do not put away Christmas early. I soak it up. So I won't be taking down my Christmas decor until probably the week of New Year's. So next week, it'll start to go away. My house will go back to resembling a cute little country house and not Christmas explosion. My handsome husband Dan is actually on vacation from work until New Year's, right after New Year's, but in true workaholic fashion, he is working a side job, so that's why you're not seeing him pop in today. Him and I have really always worked as hard as we possibly can. We have been very poor for very many years. The last couple of years, we have finally been able to get ahead a little bit, slowly but surely. So the point in me telling you this is that we don't ever turn down an opportunity for work. It doesn't matter what it is or who is offering it. If there is an opportunity to make extra money, we go for it because you never know when you're gonna need it or when a surprise is going to happen. So he's out there busting his butt, building a house from the ground up. That's what he's doing. So I am kid free today. They went back to school, bless it. They go, <laughs> the school is only closed on major holidays. They're in a special ABA autism school. So they, they always have school unless it's a national holiday. So today I sent them back because I'm a mean mom and I needed a day just to get my head together and get my house together. There is toys everywhere. They had an absolutely beautiful Christmas. It was the first year that they were really not overwhelmed. They were just excited. And I just, I'm so emotional because I'm just incredibly proud of them. It was such a beautiful day. Show me what you got. Show mommy. Lincoln, Lincoln show me show your present. Show mommy what you got. Show mommy what you got. I got some Mario checkers. Awesome, buddy. Hey. Um, what you got, Levi? Rapunzel. It's Rapunzel? 
I'm an astronaut, Mommy. Yeah, Daddy's going to blow that up today. Pizza. It's like your hopper at school. Do you like it? Yeah. Look. What did so. I found? What did you get? I got Bouncy. Lincoln got Ooh. one too. I got Bouncy. I got Bouncy. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah? Here, pull this up and open it up. Here, Ooh. what? We'll blow it up after we open yeah, our presents. Yeah, let's open up some more presents and then I'll blow it up, okay? Now we can open Dan and I didn't really do presents for each other. Um, my gift that he got me, this is kind of funny. So one of the treasures of my treat baskets is Whoopie Pies. It's a family recipe. I've been eating them since I was a little baby. They are the thing that everyone looks forward to in the treat baskets the most is the Whoopie Pies. So I had been baking for 48 hours straight. I was on the very last step of the Whoopie Pies, which is making the frosting. If you've been with me for a little while, you may know that my hand mixer has been on death's door for like six months easily. I'm one of those people that I wait till appliances completely kick the bucket before I buy a new one. Do you see where this is going? I was mixing the frosting, the very last step for me to be done with this bake fest, and my freaking hand mixer blew up. It blew up right over the frosting. I was crying, I was yelling. My poor husband had to run to Publix like 10 minutes before they closed and hallelujah, they had a hand mixer. So that was my big Christmas present. I really, really needed one and it's a Cuisinart and I love it. So that's what we did for gifts. We were easy this year. We just wanted to obsess about the kids. We're in the process of buying our home that we've been in for almost six years. So we really took it easy for each other, but we went bananas for the kids. I really hope that you guys had an incredible Christmas. I can't wait to hear about what your day was like. Be sure to tell me in the comments, did you stay keto? Did you not stay keto? Did you eat all the things? Did you give and receive all of the gifts? Was it the best day ever? I'm sad to see it go. I always have like this like melancholy feeling right after Christmas because there's all this buildup and then it's just done. We have so many amazing content plans for you guys going into the new year. We are going to welcome all of our new friends that we are sure to have with the starting of the year because I know there are a ton of people that are getting ready to start this way of eating come the first of the year. So a lot of my content is going to be going back to basics, doing very, very simple, strict keto meals with basic, basic ingredients. We are going to streamline. So expect to see a lot of very simple, basic keto videos, everything from grocery hauls to meal prep and meal planning, easy snacks, on the go food, all of the stuff that you would have wanted to see when you were very first starting your keto journey. So those of you that are keto veterans, I hope you will help me in welcoming the new surge of people that are getting ready to change their life because I am so excited to be a part of that. It helps fuel my passion to show people how easy this can be. You guys are always so incredible in the comment section to all of the new people and I just want to keep that going because I'm so proud of all of you. I really truly am. We have grown this incredible community. We're super close to hitting 40,000 on YouTube. The Keto Ginger Kitchen Facebook group is at like 6,000 or something crazy. I'm just... You guys blow me away and I wouldn't be able to live the life that I live without your support. You guys fuel something in my heart that I have never been able to find with anything else. So thank you for that. And that's it. This is just a pop in. Hi, we're still alive. We took Christmas off. I hope you guys did too. And if you had to work through the holidays, I'm super appreciative. My poor freaking beloved mother-in-law has been in the hospital since Christmas Eve. She came down with a wicked case of pneumonia, went to the ER to get a breathing treatment and they admitted her, she's still in there. So I've been going back and forth with that as well. She is going to be okay, but they're not gonna release her until her blood pressure stabilizes and until her oxygen is where it needs to be. So I would really love it if you guys would send some prayers or good vibes, good thoughts, good 
feelings to my mother-in-law Regina because she is my best friend and having her not be with us for Christmas was absolutely heart-wrenching like so sad she's gonna be okay she's just really stir crazy and feeling super sad and bummed because she hasn't even gotten to see the kids for Christmas and it just health is fragile for all of us and when you find yourself in a position that you probably should have gone to the doctor or to the er before it got that bad that's kind of where we're at she should have gone last week but she didn't she worked and here we are so i'm super worried about her but she's in really really capable hands and i just i just want her to come and enjoy the kids so fingers crossed that she gets out today i really truly hope that she does so that's it. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'm not cooking anything. I am eating up leftover turkey. And then tomorrow I am going so keto. You guys are going to be totally excited because I'm going to be doing my version of strict keto. Now that means that I will be limiting things like artificial sweeteners, almond flours. We're just going to keep things really basic. And I'm so looking forward to taking you guys on that journey with me. I'm also going to be setting some weight loss goals for myself. I would like to lose 20 pounds from where I am at right now. And I'm going to be kind of keeping in touch with you guys and keeping tabs on how that's going for me. I know Dan has a weight loss goal as well. I believe he is also up like 20 pounds in the last six months. So we are going to hit it hard and we're going to do it with your help and you're going to do it with our help. So I love you guys. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing weekend. I hope that your holiday was everything that you wanted and I love you so much. I will see you guys really, really soon. Love you all.